Hey guys, coming at you with another video today. On this Thursday, and today I kind of want to talk about the recent censorship news that has come out. Um, this will be a little bit more of a political video, but it pertains to my channel in general as well. Um, from a former Google employee that leaked Google's blacklist documents, basically meaning the channels that Google is trying to censor um, and the other channels that um, Google and tags that Google is trying to promote. For instance, in this document, there was a lot of things on like Black Lives Matter, um, LGBTQ, um, promoting that and then blacklisting channels like especially, and now Breitbart will probably sue YouTube demonetizing Breitbart considering they're a main, they're authoritative news source but in one of the videos that's discussing uh, Susan Majewski which is a, who is a terrible CEO, CFO, whatever she is for Google or Facebook uh, she uh, um, discusses how she wants to promote more authoritative news source but in the blacklist document it says they want to demonetize Breitbart which doesn't make any sense and the channel I found this one is on Mark Dice I definitely uh, would follow him he's pretty funny um, he's very conservative but knows content spits facts and it's not conspiracy theories as people label him I think it's just a joke as soon as like people start posting content that other people don't like. It's a conspiracy theorist. I mean, give me a break. And the funny thing is, is like, the worst part about this is I don't care if Google were to come out and say, hey, we're biased. We, le we are left-leaning. I wouldn't care near as much. In fact, I wouldn't care at all. I'd just be like, oh, well, I'm not really going to, I'm not going to trust anything Google's going to say. If I have a political opinion to the to the right kind of thing, I'd be very, very skeptical. And this is how they play their game now. They say, no, we don't have a blacklist. They've continued to say this. We don't have a blacklist. Under oath, might I add. And yet, now we're starting to see these documents being unveiled where people are... Where they're literally just... literally just they have this massive list of channels and words and stuff that they're trying to demonetize and if you go look on Google like what um, the top search results for YouTube are none of this is popping up about all these documents being released none of it is but it, of course though uh, LGBT community is suing Goot YouTube for demonetizing their videos but if you look at the channels that are getting demonetized, there are these stupid channels talking about sex and positions and stuff. I mean, give me a break. Like, of course you're going to get demonetized. Play the game, baby. You can't talk about that kind of stuff without getting demonetized. There's kids that watch this channel. Like, they shouldn't be exposed to that kind of stuff. Whether you're talking about straight stuff coming from any channel. I don't care. So I love... I love that double standard. Of course, they get pissed. They're going to sue YouTube because they're getting demonetized over talking about sexual content. And yet, this this topic isn't trending at all. Of course, it isn't because uh, it hurt their image because they don't want people to know about it, but they're going to continue to spread it. And I guarantee you, if a video goes viral about it, they'll censor it or they'll take it down. Veritas caught traction. Hopefully this catches as much traction, if not more. I think YouTube really... Um, is, is just becoming more and more of a joke. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't care if they were to admit to being biased and, and, and pushing content that is left-leaning. I wouldn't really care. But the fact of the matter is they keep doing it. They keep pushing it. And it's false. It's literally false. They're lying under oath. And I don't I don't understand how people can trust like what they're doing online without a little a little degree of skepticism from what they see. If you search anything on YouTube news related, CNN, 
uh, and this is where their whole push for authoritative content comes in. CNN is your first MSNBC, ABC, Fox News will appear, but they're also making articles on how the conspiracy theorists of Fox News are also gaining attention. The main reason why, and I think that's the case, if you look at why at uh, Fox News recently, Tucker Carlson is, is taking a break, but we're kind of curious if he's either been fired or um, let go, and uh, Tim Pool made a video about this. Um, I think, I think it was Tim Pool. I think someone made it in. I, I don't think that he was, he's taking a break. I think they may, because I don't think Fox deep down is, is conservative. I think to a certain extent they are. But to me it just doesn't really make sense because Breitbart isn't really promoted near as much as Fox News. And Fox News puts out a, a lot of pieces that are decently conservative. But I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I do enjoy some of Fox's content. I do really enjoy Tucker Carlson. But, you know, I don't know how they've been in the game this long. Maybe it's money. I don't, I don't know. Um, I do think, yeah, I, this won't change until legislation is put forth. I hope legislation is put forth. I really want to see these these this, these companies drown, or at least be forced to not censor content. And if they were, if they are, to be sued for it, and then they start losing enough money to where they have to start listening. At the end of the day, like I said, it's always about money. Um, and you know, let's say that my channel starts to grow, kind of thing, exponentially, or I eventually keep doing this, like. I know my content is being demonetized and censored. I know it is. There's videos that I've had that have blown up and immediately have gotten shot down. I'll give you an example. The Great Awakening one where I talked about my walkaway video. That video got put into the algorithm for a short period of time because I have never had over 400 views a day and that day alone I had just over a thousand. So, and typically right now because I've averaged I don't post as much, but I also think my content's still being somewhat censored. Um, pushed down. So I typically get like 250. So that day alone, my my uh, channel jumped four times in views. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a concern I wanted to express considering the content that I am trying to push out. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate all your feedback. You guys have a great day. Peace.